So, uh, did, did your father ever tell you who his date was for the graduation prom? Oh, wasn't it my mom? No, they had some spat and she stood him up. So he grabbed one of your sister's dresses and put it on this old mop and he brought the mop along for his date. I mean, she was the head of the party. All the guys were dancing with her. It was... It was, we, you know, we weren't as cool as we thought, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Listen, man, I don't want to keep you from baseball practice, so um, it was good to see you. Keep yeah. in touch, all right? It was good to see you too, Chris. Yeah. Uh, bye, Santana. It was nice meeting you, Yeah, sorry. it was a pleasure. Take yeah. care. See ya. Wow. <laughs> He's just so big. I mean, that must blow your mind. Yeah. And you can see Reese and Jody in his face, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm. I hope they make it. Me too. So I guess it is true what they say about women becoming more beautiful when they're pregnant. <laughs> Who told you, Cruz? Kelly told me. I see. Mm -hmm. mm. Are you happy about it? Yes. Well, so am I. I think this kid is going to be one fortunate dude having you for a moment. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, you that. Mm. <laughs> really, it made me very happy. Mm. Hey, this is great, huh? This is going to be amazing, seeing all these people after all this time. What do you think? Um... I think I'm usually pretty tough, but uh, to tell you the truth, the moment I walked into this place today, honey, I was just drop kicked into some awful memory about being this, I don't know, lonely outsider for four long years. But I seem to remember you were pretty popular, though. Oh, baby, I used to watch you. I used to watch you with Reese and Jody, and I used to say to myself, ay, Dios mío, it would just be so cool to be a part of that group with that fine, fine Mexican guy. Oh, yeah, so then how come when the fine, fine Mexican guy used to ask you to hang, hang around, come along, you would always turn him down flat? I did. Yeah, you did. Because I was too proud to ride on your coattails. Hmm. You don't understand, do you, Cruz? No, tell me. All right, look. You had this venue that was available to you in high school that you took. And you earned your credentials to belong into that in club, you know? You became this marvelous athlete. You, you got to wear the school letters. And you were a champion. And I would say to myself, Orale, man. He found this niche. And doors opened for you, which um, remained shut for me. Unless, of course, I had learned how to throw a football. But even when Channing and I were together, I mean, our social standing was so different that uh, I tried, man. I tried. I really tried to find my niche. Where I belonged. And prom night came along, and that was the crowning blow. Yeah, you didn't come with Channing, did you? No, baby. The Capwell heir was not allowed to take Santana, the maid's daughter, to their prom. Yeah. Channing was invited by um, Lynn, Lynn Sternborg. You know, remember her? The principal's oh, yeah. daughter. Yeah, he made her decade by accepting. You know who I went with? I went with Jose. Jose Diaz. Mm -hmm. Do you remember Jose? He, his papa his used to... Dad, yeah. yeah, the bodega yeah, near yeah. the school we where we used to go there. get the sure, sodas. Sure. sure. Yeah, he was really sweet. Really. Well, needless to say, you know, I never danced one dance with Channing that whole night. What we landed up doing was looking at each other lovingly across the room, you know, just pining away. There were a lot of outsiders here that night. I mean, I look back now and I realize that. It's true that I was a jock and so I had a ticket, but mostly I was bluffing through those years. I never knew where my father was, you know. And I never forgot that I was Chicano. We were all vulnerable and, uh, and scared of showing it. But the thing is that you have become the woman you were meant to be. That's clear to me. And it's going to be clear to everybody here, you know. I really don't care about anyone else. Most importantly, it's becoming clearer to me. But just for insurance, you know what I'm going to do? Mm. I'm going to put together the best, the baddest, the meanest reunion this high school has ever seen. <laughs> I believe you. Yeah, yeah. man. And then I'm going to walk in on the big night with, uh, ironically, C.C. Capwell, who happens to be the most powerful man in town. Yeah, so I've heard. Yeah. 
Just so you don't forget, mm -hmm. you could make as big a splash if you came by yourself. Hmm? I love you for saying that. Mm -hmm. You're so genuine. Tell you what, we keep trudging this happy road together, you know? We're going to rewrite history, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, darling. Uh, let it be so. <laughs> yeah.